Cemeteries are a wonderful collection of historical facts, famous people, and peaceful places to visit in villages, towns, and cities throughout the world. I have been fascinated with cemeteries beginning at an early age of seven or eight, after my parents moved into a new home just blocks from a very old cemetery. With the advent of cell phones and the internet, one can almost instantaneously research information about the deceased, thus making a trek through any cemetery an information bonanza. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the history of a cemetery that sits in the heartland of our great country. Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well. This video is dedicated to all the Wizard of Oz trivia nerds and will help expand your knowledge about one forgotten or unknown fact about the movie, The Wizard of Oz. Recently, I watched a wonderful YouTube video produced by the YouTube channel Hollywood Graveyard titled In the Land of Oz. I will put a link to this video in my description page and I highly recommend this video for all to watch. However, this playwright missed one important fact about the movie. How did L. Frank Baum, author of the book Wizard of Oz, published in the year 1900, choose the name Dorothy for its main character? Today at the end of this video, you will learn the answer to this question, thus adding to one's knowledge about this iconic American movie. In my previous videos, I made no secret that I grew up just blocks from Evergreen Memorial Cemetery in Bloomington, Illinois. During my childhood years, the kids of the neighborhood and myself used the cemetery as kind of a park, racing our bikes around the numerous curves and hills, playing hide and seek, and playing war games, hiding behind literally hundreds of tombstones. Ironically, we all became very familiar with the names of the various monuments during our youthful years and learned about many historical facts of the cemetery. However, we never became knowledgeable about the history of one young child's gravesite named Dorothy Louise Gage, whose untimely death, which occurred November 11, 1898, is linked by namesake to the movie Wizard of Oz. You see, Dorothy Gage's father, Thomas Gage, was the brother to L. Frank Baum's wife, Maud. Thus, in order to give some small comfort to Maud and to Mr. Gage and his wife, Sophie, the parents of their deceased daughter, Dorothy, Mr. Baum named the main character in his new book, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, Dorothy, a remarkable act of kindness demonstrated to Dorothy's parents and to his wife, Maud. So in 2017, another chainsaw artist, Bill Baker, carved this wooden monument from a nearby tree about to be removed, announcing to all the relationship between a deceased five-year-old girl that passed in 1898 and the main character in the movie, The Wizard of Oz. In preparation of this video, I was informed that the original tombstone for the young Dorothy Gage sat immediately behind the newer monument that was placed almost a century later after her death. As I was taking photos of the original stone, please note the coins left on its base, an old world tradition declaring to little Dorothy that she still lives in the hearts of many for all eternity. But there's more. In my research for this video, I learned that a surviving munchkin by the name of Mickey Carroll, who played the violin as the munchkins were leading Dorothy onto the Yellow Brick Road and out of Oz to the Emerald City, was the sole benefactor responsible for the donation of Dorothy Louise Gage's new granite monument. Plus, I became aware that Judy Garland personally called Mickey, a close friend, and suggested he try out for the part as a munchkin because of his stature. In fact, after being offered the part, Mr. Carroll and his brother stayed with Judy Garland and her mother during the filming in California. Additionally, I learned Al Capone was Mickey's godfather. Isn't that something? Guys, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos like these, please click on the subscribe button. And if you wish to be notified by YouTube as I upload new videos, just click on the notification bell below. 
And again, thank you for watching Spirits of the Cemetery.